All right, guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm Hiram. I don't know if you guys like field trips. We're, we're going to have a field trip today, and uh, we're going to go to one of my uncle's shop, and uh, he has a uh, two vehicles that we got to go check out. One, it's a 2007 or 6 uh, Infiniti G35 Coupe. We're going to go diagnose it, and we're going to repair that vehicle. Uh, History of the car, uh, he already scanned it. He has a P1757 front brakes on oil circuit code. Uh, it works good for the first upshift. Uh, it it, it upshifts from first to fourth. And once it wants to go into fifth gear, it just neutralizes and it goes into fail safe mode. Unless you turn the vehicle off, turn it back on, then it starts in first gear again. Uh, so we're going to go check that out. P1757, I already know what it is, but uh, I'm going to take you guys over there to the car and uh, we're going to do the you know the disassembly we're going to race the car on the lift we're going to pull the pan off pull the valve body off check the computer check the pins and we see something damaged there we're going to solder whatever we need to do uh, and uh, reinstall that thing back on the car and uh, we're going to check if, of course you know for contamination from brake uh, it's the band uh, bands do you know burn up so we could have two issues or we could have just one issue it could be electrical, it could be the band, or it could be something else. But front brake is the is the band on those things. It's an RA5, R05A. Uh, all right, so uh, I hope you guys like the field, field trips. And we're gathering some stuff right now, our scan tool, and uh, some things to, you know, solder. And uh, we go from there, man. All right, well, let's start packing up. Grab your backpacks and your lunch, and let's go for a field trip. All right, guys. Well, here, here we have the G35. We're going to start working on it, and uh, as you can see, already uh, there's no fluid on it. So uh, I'm going to get my scan tool. We're going to scan it for the code, and then we're going to start removing uh, our valve body and uh, see what we're going to find on this uh, little car here. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's scan it for codes, and then start taking everything apart. All right, I got the VCI connected. Let's go ahead and scan this uh, car. We're gonna go to previous vehicles. I had already scanned it before. Let me see, uh, get close over here. Oh, there's a lot of glare. Infinity, let's go ahead and activate. Already have the key on, engine off. Load the scan tool. And I'm pretty sure the code should still be there. I don't think we cleared it. Establishing communication. It's going to take a little bit. That's the problem with the wireless VCI. Attempting auto ID. If it doesn't auto ID, then I'm going to have to manually ID the vehicle. I'm pretty sure the key's on. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and go to transmission. Let's see, I'm not sure if you guys are you can see that. Go ahead and continue. Codes only. P1757, front brake solenoid circuit fault. All right, now that we have the code, let's go ahead and uh, raise the vehicle up and start taking this thing apart. I'm gonna go ahead and exit this software and put it in sleep mode. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and remove our pan.
history of the vehicle. They've already replaced the solenoid. <laughs> Transmission pan looks pretty clean. Now we're going to remove our valve body and uh, on this side here we have the pass through connector. Uh, we're going to disconnect it from the inside. Disconnect our speed sensor. Now we're going to start removing the bolts. pan to the bench all right I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bolt completely here we go still draining remove that bolt lower it down come on now there we go. Now we lower it. On that. There we go. Let's go to the bank. All right, let's take this thing apart and let's check it out. Let's go ahead and disconnect this right here. Uh, well, actually, we don't need to disconnect it, but let's go ahead and. Uh, Take all the bolts out. Oh, shit. These are the filter bolts. They have a nut on the on the other side. So what we need to do, we need to take this TCM transmission control module, remove it from the valve body. Then we're going to do a very simple test to see if the uh, pin is broke. We're going to do a con continuity test. All right. We're going to hold the nut on the opposite end so we can get this bolt off. Do it on this other one. We got three of them. Don't mind the noise back there. All right. Let's see here. I'm not familiar here with this bench, but this is the front brake solenoid, the one in the center. So we need to take them all off. If this were to be contaminated with uh, with coolant, this this solenoids will not come off this easily. And we see that they're coming off fairly easy. So it's not contaminated. All right. Let's put them in order the same way that they came out. That's the way we're going to put them, lay them out over here on the shop towel. This one here has been replaced already from brake solenoid. We're going to do a simple test right here on the board itself. All right, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. All right. Start the software. It's going to take a little bit to start the software. 
we're going to do a wiggle test here with the ohm meter and uh, to confirm or debunk to see if this thing is broken or not. And the way it feels, it looks like it's going to be broke. Broken. All right, let's try to lift this thing up because we're going to open it from the back here to uh, solder our connections. All right, we're going to go to uh, scope and multimeter. We're going to go to uh, digital. Ohms. All right, let's calibrate. I'm on the wrong leads. It's three and four together. Hold that thought. All right. Let's press OK. Calibrating scales. Zero ohms. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, put it on our board. See goes open, the wiggle. There we go. We're doing a wiggle. We have con continuity. We go open. It's definitely broke. So we're doing a wiggle test here on this pins. All right, now that we have confirmed our issue, let's go ahead and disconnect this right quick. A little bit hard to get off. As a matter of fact, we'll just leave it on. All right, let's open this thing up. need to get in here, lift up, here we go. We need to get access to the pins itself. It's a little brittle. The vehicle has like 170 some thousand miles. So, gotta be careful here. Open this thing up. being a little stubborn they come off fairly easily and I'm still attached to the valve body so all right we're just gonna lift up just make sure you don't pull any connections up let's go up we're gonna take the cover off completely all right here we go had a boy Here it's our pins. I can see the crack right here. I don't know why this thing is so hard to get off. If it's, they come off fairly easily, they're just attached here, here, here and here and of course it's still attached to the valve body so it sounds very brittle and I need some room I cannot leave it on here I need some room to do, to do the soldering as a matter of fact I'm gonna put you on hold right quick all right, we got success here. I'm gonna raise up the pins. I'm not sure if you can see the crack right there. See that? That's our issue right there. And this is where we're going to attempt to solder. Solder that thing back on. All right, so what do we do here? 
what I'm going to attempt to do is put a little piece of wire, solder a little piece of wire right here and try to wrap it around so that I can have some support so that whenever I solder this, this pin right here, it will not come undone. And uh, we're going to put a little bit of flux on there. Damn. Kind of hard to open this thing. Flux or no flux, we're going to use flux. It's inside the transmission. So we're not gonna we're not gonna have a lot of uh, corrosion going on. It's inside transmission fluid, so I just wanna get this thing hot as quickly as possible. I'm gonna get my uh, butane soldering. Get it warmed up. Get my solder ready. I don't know, but for some reason my hands are a little bit shaky this morning, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, try to attempt to solder this. Are we on? Yes, we are on. And what I usually do, I just get a little bit of solder on the tip. Get a little bit of solder on the wire itself. I have the screwdriver here to push the pin up. Uh, my hands a little shaky so let's let's see. All right. It's on there. Let's go ahead and uh, put a little bit more solder on the tip. Get this thing hot enough. See how that didn't go well? There we go. Now that should be soldered on there. Let it cool down. Yep. It's not on there. Let's try it again. That's why you want to put that piece of wire on it. Go ahead and cut this thing off. Yeah, we're on. All right. It's going to be kind of tricky to get this thing. I'm going I'm to go ahead and put you on pause and then I'm going to wrap this thing around there. Okay. We are wrapped around the wire. Put a little bit more solder on that thing. Just heat it up. Make sure that our wire is covered with solder, which we are. Let's cover on this side. There we go. We're done. We're done with this thing. All right, let's go ahead and lower these pins on there. There we go, just make sure that it doesn't touch another circuit. There we go. Nicely soldered. Wire wrapped around this edge right here. It's underneath the solder, so we're good. Let's put this thing back together. goes on easier than it comes off. All right. Ah. Come on now. You turn this thing off. Make sure that you are latched all the way around. Mm 
This one, come on. There we go. Latch that thing in there. A little corner, I can get this little corner in there. This little thing is making me work. All right. Get this thing on there. All right, let's see here. Tá quebrada, oi? É? Tá quebrada? Tá quebrada. Yeah. Tem uma latinha, hein? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Agora estamos aqui, estamos aqui, estamos aqui. Agora estamos aqui, estamos aqui. Vai sair, oi? Eu tô gravando. Não, eu tô gravando. Sim. Não me dá pedo. Como que ela vai gostar? Sim. Tu deixa de ser? Ok. All right, we got the solar noise here. That was my uncle. Wanted to know what, what did I found? Yeah, it's broke. Do this uh, Spanglish video. We're Hispanic, so I speak English and Spanish. That's no big deal here. This rust, right, the, whatever it looks like, that discoloration there, it looks like rust, but it's really not. Rust would look a little different whenever you have a uh, cooling contamination. G35s are not that known, but I've seen them with uh, coolant on the transmission. Whenever that happens, the TCM is no good. All right. We're ready to get this thing on there. Let's go ahead and put our filter, our long bolts that go all the way to the filter. P1757, that's a very common problem. And basically, whenever you see that, you know that the solenoid is gonna be probably good. And your problem is gonna be on the connection for the solenoid. All right, let's go ahead and uh, tighten them up. Let's go ahead and put this thing back on the core. Hook up our scan tool. Take it for a test drive. What is he? Here we go. Gotta get the connection on there. Oh, you wanna hold it right quick? Just, just so I can get that connection on there. Oh, there we go, Odyssey. I need to get the manual valve lined up. There we go. Short bolt. That'll hold it. All right, thanks, man. This one here is a guide. 
guide bolt. Manual valve good. Long bolts. One, uh, two, three, and then this right here. One more. Got one more right here on the temperature sensor. All right, off with speed sensor. This is not plugged in, it's not gonna shift. So you gotta plug it on. Let's clean the surface of the case. And I'll go ahead and install our pan, fill it up with fluid, and go burn some rubber. Now we're gonna clear the code. We're gonna clear the code that's uh, is still in memory. I'm gonna go to sc scanner. Uh, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to uh, previous vehicles. I'm gonna activate the G35. I'm gonna go to scan tool. We have our check engine light still on. Key on engine off. All right. So we are waiting to communicate. It's gonna take a little bit. All right, it's communicating. 
I know there's a lot of sun and there's a lot of glare, but we're, we're about to go drive this car, this vehicle, and uh, confirm our fix. Confirm our fix, the key's on. It's attempting to uh, automatic ID. Sorry for the glare, it's kind of sunny up here. This just takes too long to communicate. And is the newest one from Snap-on, Vera's Edge. That's a big drawback right there. All right, let's go to transmission. Once this, uh, it communicates, I mean, it goes fairly quickly. Codes only, let me see. Let me get out of the car. See, we're gonna be able to look at this. Okay, front brake solenoid. Sorry about that glare, man. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and clear the codes. I'm gonna click yes. I mean, it's even hard for me to see out here. All I can see is just the camera and you guys. But anyways, let me see if I can get a different spot. No. Continue. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that or not. I'm sorry for the glare, like I said. Let's go ahead and recheck our codes. No codes present. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, select data and go for a ride. All right, we're on the test, test drive. And the glare is there. I cannot do anything with the glare. But we can see the front brake solenoid is pulsing. We are 0 0.62 amperage. And uh, here I have, uh, I'm uh, graphing the shifts. We're in first gear. And there's nothing I can do about the glare. But I hope that you can see that. This was going 0 0.01 when the solenoid would go open and it would go into fail safe. That's fifth gear front brake solenoid. There's more glare. Can't do nothing about that. Now it went to 0 0.01 and it pulls to 0 0.60 and we are in fifth gear. So it goes uh, Low, low uh, amperage means high pressure for it to shift into fifth gear. We're already in fifth gear, so this transmission is is fixed. It's actually fixed. We reused the same fluid, and my uncle got this from another shop. So they replaced the solenoid, and now we really did fix the transmission. All right, we're gonna go burn some rubber. I'll get back to you.